Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. Today in this video, we are having one very interesting and challenging question from Radical Mathematics. We have to evaluate the expression x cube minus 1 over x square. If x is given to us, cube root of 121 plus cube root of 110 plus cube root of 100. So let's get started by considering the given radicands in terms of perfect square or factors. So let us write x equal to, we know 121 is a square of 11. So I can write it is 11 times 11. Similarly, cube root of 110, we can write it is 11 times 10. Similarly, we can write 100 as 10 square. So cube root of 10 times 10. Now using one property of thirds or radicals, we can write nth root of AB can be written as nth root of A times nth root of B. So I will split. So I will be writing here x equal to cube root of 11 times cube root of 11 plus cube root of 11 times cube root of 10 plus cube root of 10 times cube root of 10. Now I will use substitution. You can see cube root 11, cube root 10 is involved. So we can consider, let us consider cube root of 11 equal to A and cube root of 10 equal to B. So x will become, I will write A times A, so A square. Then we are having A times B, so I will be writing AB. Then last term is B square. So x is A square plus AB plus B square. Now I can write one algebraic identity, the formula of a cube minus b cube. It is a minus b times a square plus ab plus b square. So if I will divide both sides with a minus b, so I can write here divided by a minus b divided by a minus b. So a minus b will be over. So value of a square plus ab plus b square is coming out in terms of a cube minus b cube. So we can write here a square plus ab plus b square equal to a cube minus b cube over a minus b. Now a is cube root 11, b is cube root 10. So we can write from here a cube equal to 11 and b cube equal to 10. So a cube minus b cube will be 1. So I can write here 11 minus 10 in the numerator and in denominator it is a minus b. This is the value of a square plus ab plus b square or x. Let us write here x equal to 1 over a minus b or it is a square plus b square plus ab. Now I will consider our expression which we have to evaluate. I will split our numerator with respect to denominator. I can write this one as x cube over x square then I will be writing minus 1 over x square. So our expression will convert into x minus 1 over x square. This value we have to calculate. Now x is 1 over a minus b. So let me write here 1 over x value. So 1 over x will be a minus b. So what is required here? 1 over x square. So I will consider squaring. 
So 1 over x square will become a minus b whole square. Now I will apply a minus b whole square formula. So it will become a square minus 2ab plus b square. Now let us write our expression which we have to calculate. So it will become x cube minus 1 over x square. Further we can write it is x minus 1 over x square. Let us put the value of x and 1 over x square straight away directly. So x value is you can see here it is written. So I will be writing a square plus b square plus ab. This is x. Now minus sign 1 over x square. So 1 over x square is let me write here a square minus 2ab plus b square. So I can write our expression value x cube minus 1 over x square. This will be equal to a square plus b square plus ab. And then I will expand this bracket minus a square plus twice ab minus b square. Now we can cancel plus a square with minus a square plus b square with minus b square. So what is left? ab plus 2ab. So our required expression is ab plus 2ab which is 3ab. So I will be writing here x cube minus 1 over x square equal to 3 times a times b. Now remember what was the value of a? It was our substitution cube root 11. And what was our value b? It was our substitution cube root of 10. So now we will put this value to our expression x cube minus 1 over x square. This value will be equal to 3 times cube root of 11 times cube root of 10. Now I will use the same property once again. So I can write cube root of 11 times 10. So it will become 3 times cube root of 110. Or we can write this 3 as cube root of 27 times cube root of 110. Now I can take the product of 27 with 110. So we can write here after cube root of 27 times 110 which will be equal to cube root of 2970. So our final answer becomes cube root of 2970 or we can write 3 times cube root of 110. I hope this video will be meaningful to you. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video friends. Good luck and take care of yourself.